new videos every day. Hey everybody, I'm Jen Hillman and today I'm going to show you some stretches that can help to alleviate pain in your spine. So if you have any pain in your upper back or in your neck or any pain in your middle or low back, any of these stretches that I'm going to show you today will be really great to help improve your range of motion and help to increase your flexibility and help to alleviate that pain that you experience in your back. So go ahead and favorite this video so you can come back and watch over and over. And the more often that you practice these stretches, the faster you're gonna get results in terms of reducing that pain in your back. And then it'll also just help improve your flexibility, improve your range of motion, and help you to live better in your body and help to avoid that pain in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. Seated somewhere comfortable. You can sit cross-legged or if you feel more comfortable sitting on your knees, that's fine as well. Just make sure that you're comfortable and that you can lengthen your spine nice and tall. Then bring your hands right on top of your knees and we're going to start with a little cat and cow action. So you'll inhale, reach your heart forward, Broaden through your collarbones, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back, and arch your back. You can look up here, and as you exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest, rock back on your sacrum, and really stretch your spine. Then inhale, come forward. Reach your heart forward. Look up. Broaden your collarbones. And exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, rock back on your sacrum, exhale completely, and we'll inhale, come forward. And exhale, round your spine. So you're moving with your breath here, find that rhythm, inhale, reach your heart forward. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, round your spine. So we're just starting to warm up your spine, getting into some mobility here. Come forward on your inhale, arching through your back. And exhale, round. Then on your next inhale, sit all the way up, nice and tall. Lengthen the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Then we'll move into a little side stretch. So bring your left hand onto the floor beside you. Sweep your right arm up and over to stretch the right side of your body. So really try and think about reaching your right fingertips far away and at the same time you want to root down through the right side of your hip so we're not just collapsing over here you really sit down through your hips to lengthen your fingertips stretching through the right side of your waist Inhale to come all the way back up through center. And then place your right hand onto the floor. Sweep your left fingertips up and over. And stretch the left side of your body by reaching your left fingertips far away. And root your weight down through the left side of your hips. So you get a nice deep stretch across the whole left side of your body. Continue to breathe here as you stretch your spine open. And then 
on your next inhale, sit all the way up. And coming back through center, and we'll move into a little twist. So bring your right hand across to your left knee. Reach your left fingertips behind you. Sit up nice and tall so you lengthen your spine. And then as you're ready, twist to the left. Now turn your gaze all the way over your left shoulder so your neck is still a part of this twist. And we'll gently unwind, come back through center. And bring your left hand across to your right knee. Bring your right fingertips behind you. Inhale to sit up nice and tall. And exhale, twisting to the right. Turn your gaze all the way over your right shoulder as you twist deeply into your spine. So we're just getting that rotation in between each one of your vertebra. Getting that nice deep twist. And just continue to breathe here, nice and easy, steady breath. And we'll gently come back through center. Now from here, go ahead and plant your hands onto the floor and roll forward so you come onto your knees. Then you'll bring your knees stacking directly underneath your hips and then check that your shoulders come right above your wrists. So you've got some nice strong angles here. So with your hands pressing firmly into the floor, just like when we were seated, inhale, reach your heart forward, broaden your collarbones, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back and arch your back, inhale. Then exhale, round your spine, Tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin to your chest, press down through the floor so you can lift your spine high. Inhale, reach forward. Open through your chest, reach your heart forward, look up as you arch your back. Then exhale, round your spine, hug your belly in, press down into the floor. Inhale. Reach your heart forward. And exhale, round your spine. We'll do this a couple more times here. Inhale, arch your back, lift your heart and your tailbone. Exhale, round over. Tuck your chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone underneath you. And again, let's inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, round your spine over. On your next inhale, just come to a neutral place in your spine. And we'll do another twist here. So plant your weight into your left hand. Twist your right fingertips high. Then scoop your right fingertips underneath your left arm. So you come all the way down to the floor onto your shoulder. So this is a nice stretch for the backs of your shoulders in between your shoulder blades. So just keep reaching your right fingertips underneath you. And if you want more sensation in this stretch, bring your left hand up over your head so you can press your spine deeper in this twist. Just continue to breathe as you feel this stretch. And this is getting into a lot of tension in the back of your shoulder. So just breathe here and let it soften.
And then as you're ready, plant your weight back into your left hand, press up. Come off your right shoulder and replace your right hand to the floor. Shift your weight into your right hand, sweep your left arm high. Then sweep your left arm underneath your right. Come onto your left shoulder so you get that nice stretch across the back of your shoulder blades. And you can get more stretch by bringing your right hand up overhead to press your spine deeper in this twist. And you may notice more tension on the right or left side, it's usually not the same. So just whatever you notice, pay attention, breathe, and try and relax into the stretch. And then we'll gently come out. So bring your right hand around, plant your weight to so you come up off of your left shoulder. And then one last twist that I'll show you guys is really great for your lower back. So that was good twist for your upper back. So we'll do a little twisting for your low back. So go ahead and come down onto your mat or just onto the floor. Lie all the way back. Start by bringing your right knee up towards your chest and you can hug your knee in so you get a little compression in the hip socket. Then cross your right knee all the way to the floor on the left side of your body. So go ahead and bring your right knee all the way down. And if your right shoulder comes off the floor, that's okay. Just open your right arm out to the side and look over your right shoulder. So this will help you get a little stretch in your chest as well as getting a nice stretch across your low back as you twist. So we'll stay here for a few breaths, just softening into your low back as you get that rotation. Twisting nice and easy. So you can adjust to the position of your knee. If your knee is a little lower down, then you'll get a little more stretch across the outside of your hip and less, less of a stretch through your low back. But if you need more stretch through your low back, you can bring your knee higher up and that will help you twist deeper. So you just find where your knee needs to be that, so that you can get the best stretch possible. you're ready, come back towards neutral and release your right leg down. And then we'll go to the other side, hug your left knee in towards your chest so you compress into your hip socket a little bit. And then cross your left knee all the way over to the floor on the right side of your body. And then let your shoulder come up if it wants to. Just open your arm to the left and look over your left shoulder. And again, you can play with the placement of your knee wherever it needs to be so that you get the best stretch for your body. And this twisting is really good for your internal organs as well. Helps to detoxify and cleanse the organs in your body. So this is a nice way to stay healthy in your muscles, in your joints, and in your internal organs. And when you're ready to release, just come back through center. 
and relax your left leg down to the floor. And you can take a few minutes to just rest in Shavasana. Just extend your feet to the end of your mat and your hands down by your side with your palms facing up. And just notice how your back feels now. If there's any residual tension, just let it relax into the floor. And let your breath become steady and even. And let yourself have a few moments to just rest and relax. So thank you guys so much for following along with me today. Don't forget to favorite this video so you can practice this sequence many times. This really is a great sequence that you can practice. You can do this every day or even twice a day if you want to. And as I mentioned before, the more you practice, the more effective your results will be and the quicker you'll see those results start to happen. So this is a really great sequence to help warm up your back improve your mobility and help to reduce your back pain. Go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know how you're feeling after doing these few stretches. You should be feeling a lot better, a lot more loose, a lot more relaxed. Thank you very much for watching. Really so wonderful to share this work with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel so you can have access to my complete library of massage and yoga videos and I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Thank you so much.